So we saw just things like that. Uh, it was an experience. I, I would uh, advise everybody if you got a chance to do that, you know, whether it be Venezuela, wherever. I mean, there's need all over. Uh, Glenda said this morning that some, you know, seems like <clears throat> it's easier to go off somewhere and, and do this because of the distractions that you have here. If we stay here and do it, you know, we may get distracted by our lives, our work, and things like that. But when you're off the way we were, you know, that's what we were there for. And, uh, you know, you, you kind of had more time and, and were better able to, to really uh, do that, this type of work. Uh, I was trying to think of some funnies. Uh, bro, I, Brother Fred's good about taking notes. I didn't. Uh, can I tell the uh, the depression story? We took a, a boy with us from uh, that works with me at game time. His name is Pedro Pasquales. Pedro is from uh, Colombia. Great guy. He's a. I think he's a true man of God. He's a, he helped us in so many ways. Uh, we had the four interpreters from Venezuela. The four that came up, uh, Carmen. Uh, Juanita, Alejandro, and Oscar. Oscar had to leave one one day, or the after the first day, so he wasn't back until the end. But uh, Pedro pitched right in. He uh, during this, the uh, classes, he, I think he interpreted for about all of us, didn't he? And uh, he uh, he just shared, pitched right in, shared with uh, with all of us, and in, uh, in the work he pitched right in and was doing a lot of the work. But uh, first day out, uh, he uh, we were riding down and. He, uh, he looked at Brother James and he said, uh, what, what was, he said, uh, did you uh, live through the Great Depression? <laughs> so uh, we had a good time out of that with Brother James. Uh, you know, we asked him to you know, tell us how it was during that time. Uh, There's so many things that happened, I, you know, just off the top of my head, I can't think of a, a lot of the things. But uh, we had a, a great time and, uh, you know, I'm glad I went. And uh, I would love to do it again. It's, it's you know it's good to be home, but uh, you know I'm glad I went and uh, looking forward to maybe doing it again. Uh, those two that are still there, well actually Brother Keith and then Brother Tom is, is was coming in, but uh, Brother Keith's having to spend two weeks there. And uh, I thought you know, we all missed our family tremendously. Uh, I think I can speak for everybody that went on the trip. Uh, you know we we. Uh, it was sad and, you know, uh, it was a time that uh, not being around your family for a week, it's it's a, it's not a, an easy time, but uh, uh, Brother Keith is having to do it two weeks in a row, but uh, one of Brother uh, Keith Lacey, we were kidding around, I guess Friday, and I had an iPod with a lot of different songs on it, and he asked me if I had the song Easy. I said, I think I've got that, so we played it. Brother Keith was over there, and he was moping around about ready to cry. I said, what's wrong? He said, that's mine and Carrie's song. <laughs> so I know he missed his family, and we did too. Uh, but uh, again, such a loving people. Uh, the associate pastor, or the assistant, I don't know what the situation is, but he was a pastor there at the church, a uh, fellow by the name of Hector. And uh, we talked a little bit after the uh, service one night. And, you know, you, you know they didn't speak much English at all. We didn't speak much Spanish at all, except Fred. He was pretty fluent. <laughs> but uh, he, didn't know what he, was no, he, he didn't know what he was saying, but he, he, could, he could speak it. But <laughs> trying to communicate, we had Pedro there interpreting or whoever. And uh, I told Hector that, uh, I said, I don't know what you're saying. I don't know your language. I don't, uh, you know, we're having trouble communicating. But I said, one of these days, you know, as brothers and sisters in Christ, we'll, we'll be able to, to speak to each other. I said, I don't know your language. I don't know what's coming out of your mouth, but I know what's in your heart. And uh, I said, you know, one day we'll all be speaking the same language. We'll have a new language, language of the holy, eternal God. We'll all have a new song to sing in our hearts, and we'll all have a new name. And, uh, you know, we, uh, we met uh, uh, what, 2,000, 3,000 miles from home. We met other brothers in Christ and uh, had a great time and great fellowship and uh, just uh, you know, like I said I, if you get the opportunity to go it would be a, a great learning experience you'll grow to appreciate more what you have and you'll get grow to have a burden for lost small souls